talking about beast mode. Cowboy boss, I'm a beast mode. I'm gonna shoot my shot like a free throw. Run straight to my spot, gotta let it go. Cowboy boss, I'm a beast yes, mode. <laughs> oh, you like that though? Yeah. yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. So, um, I, I do this stuff just off of my real life. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever you hear me rapping about is what I'm doing in real life. Mm -hmm. And that's how I'm putting my, I'm going to paint the picture Exactly how it's going You know what I mean Like from From the trail ride stuff With the $50,000 horse Like I was telling you About Bonnie Parker mm -hmm. I bought the horse For $4,000 At the end of the deal But I sold it for Like 30 mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying So It wasn't that she Was actually worth 50000 But in my eyes I felt she was A $50,000 horse you know what I mean? Just like if, if you got a Frenchie or something, he right. might not be worth the twenty five hundred dollars at all. Mm -hmm. But I want ten thousand for him. I got a ten thousand dollar Frenchie. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. It's the same thing with this. So like when I came with the music part of it, it's just like I'm embracing my lifestyle because I wasn't able to buy them horses. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I used to see people going buy horses five, ten thousand, fifteen thousand. I'm like, damn. So that's what made me start training them. You know, they're what I'm not saying? cheap at all. No, they're me, expensive. Let's talk about beast mode. Cowboy boss, I'm a beast mode. I'm gonna shoot my shot like a free throw. Run straight to my spot, gotta let it go. Cowboy <laughs> boss, I'm a beast yes, mode. <laughs> oh, you like that though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna talk about it. So, uh, that shoot there it came just off of some raw stuff. My partner called me. He was like, hey, man, you need a vi video to that song. I'm like, man, shit, just meet me at the barn. Heavy. I, I'm at the barn, you know what I'm saying? And shit, I had their own horse. And that's who I'm talking about in this song. You know what I'm saying? That Rome motherfucker really get it on. Yeah. I hang with the greatest. It ain't no debating. Keep me a dodge in heavy rotation. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that right there, that was a, a monument for me because, like, at that point in time, like Larry say, you know what I'm saying, I was trying to grow because I was in a dark place with music. You know what I'm wow. saying? Like, I was like, man, is this shit going to work or do I just need to goddamn keep selling horses? You know what I mm -hmm. mean? I think everybody's been, everybody in been music there, has right? been there, done that, yeah. where they doubted because it wasn't going fast enough. Usually that's what usually causes it. Right. You know, you feel like you're giving out your all, but it just ain't, your dream not happening. Yeah. I mean, it was happening, but when you sitting, when you sitting back and like, you don't really have that emotion that you was having, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause, cause the shows or this or that, my fan base ain't even really in Texas. Mm. Where's your fan base? All over. Mm. Like, it's mainly in country parts, you know what I'm saying? Kentucky, Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, they love me. Like, my first time leaving Houston, I went to uh, Port Gibson, Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? And Dad, I brought me out there for a rodeo. My first time away from here, they had me perform, and they had me match rope a dude. They didn't think I was about what I was talking about. Mm. I whooped his ass, drove out there by myself, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Put that rope on him and then perform. Uh, but like as far as fan base, man, like I, I've been I've been able to reach out in Brazil. I've been in New Zealand, like a lot of different. Wow. Uh, when I look at my Apple playlist and Spotify, I'm in 51 different countries mm -hmm. in all 50 states. You know what I mean? No promotion. Rodeo cowboy. Let's talk about. It. I'm a rodeo cowboy stuck in my way, slinging big bells of hay in the barn all day. I've been getting drunk, rolling up high in the rain, big cowboy. Oh uh, man, I'm gonna be honest with you. I heard the Shabuzi track. Okay. And uh, I was like, it's dope, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't real cowboy shit, you know what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, it, it was kind of like the. Lil Nas X type deal to me. I got the horses in the back. Horse stock is attached. Yeah, I'm saying so. Ain't no gimmick with me. So anytime I hear something, I'm gonna step on it the real way and the cowboy way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a rodeo cowboy. You know what I'm saying? That was like, I wanted to show the world who I am and what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Because. Everybody was saying that I needed to commercialize stuff. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go this way with it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Instead of saying bitch ho and this and that. You know what I'm saying? Just being a raw meat uncut. I'm like, I'm going to go ahead and just step it up just to snap. You know what I mean? And that's how Rodeo Cowboy came about. What about Cowboy Dream? And that I've been on the road to the sun come up. Cowboy, I love my old school country truck. Let's keep them going. <laughs> <laughs> that's for all the young niggas in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a... 
I got a squad of young niggas back home that all they listen to is J Brown. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? They riding through the hood on their horses, riding in their trucks. You know what I'm saying? Second, third gen Dodgers. That's how we ride down south. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. It was just one of them, like to let niggas know that you can make it out this situation. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I came from the same streets y'all came from. Only difference is I grind every day to make it to where I'm trying to go. You know what I'm saying? I never give up, and that's part of Cowboys, like, never giving up. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.